Hello, this is Mohammed Shakil here, and you're watching a table fan being created in the Kitsi Area 5. So, throughout the model, I've used the part design, surface design, generator shape design, and uh, freestyle work benches. And uh, uh, just my previous uh, videos, I have explained you how I've created the blade over here. So, the blade surface was uh, created by uh, the combination of freestyle, 3D curve, and uh, sweep with. Uh, what is that? A sweep with the uh, reference surface. So uh, you have to make sure that uh, in the sweep you are using, you are increasing the setback uh, so that you don't get any error. So once you're done with the surface, what are you going to do is you're going to select the surface like this. You're going to select the surface and you're going to the part design and you're going to use this particular command pad and you're going to pad the surface so once you will be clicking on the pad they'll be asking you whether you really need to uh, do the padding for the surface so you can click yes and you can do the padding so that's how you give the thickness so you're supposed to create only one blade first so once you're done with the blade and once you're done with the padding you can uh, hide the surface uh, which is related to the uh, uh, to the sketch over here so once you're done with that what you need to do is you need to go to uh, the circular pattern as you can see in the part design you can go to insert transformation feature circular pattern and you're supposed to click one blade and you're supposed to uh, select the reference element as this particular sketch over here and uh, uh, you're supposed to do the circular pattern of the blade so this is how you can successfully create the fan blades like this so when you're creating the blades uh, make sure that uh, you can see over here the blade is having uh, as you, if, if you see any table fans you can see the blades will be having a cross uh, line like this as I said before you're supposed to set your own uh, profile sketches before you're working with the 3d curve so I hope you enjoyed my video any doubts any clarifications you have you can comment just below my video I'll be getting back to you as, as soon as possible so I hope you enjoyed my video make my channel lively thank you so much